when I was homeless, I didn't want people to notice me any different. I wanted to be in the normal world. You can't just go into a pub or McDonald's or places like that because they just remove you. Why do they remove you? Technically, though you're homeless, you still have just as much uh, of a right, don't you? In a sense, but if you could imagine, especially around the central London, they don't want people taking space where they've got customers. The most difficult challenge for you is tackling the elements. Okay. It's keeping warm. All right, well, thank you very much. Pleasure to, you pleasure to meet you. you. Take care. Hi, miss. How are you today? How are you today? Morning. If this was my existence, I would feel demoralised every second. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, she was nice. Hey, guys, good morning. Sorry, sorry, what? Sorry, sorry, what? <sighs> Do you have the time for me? Hi hey, miss, do you have the time? You got the time? Hello. Sir? Hi hey, miss, excuse me, do you have the time? You do, you've got you're looking at your phone. Miss? Time is a very simple thing to give to someone. Warm scarf, sir. That looks like a warm scarf. Hi hey, miss, how are you today? It's a meaningful existence, this is. But when you look like this and you're doing this, people don't give a damn at all. I'm quite used to people looking at me on the street. But the way that people looked at me today looks full of disdain and disgust and judgment. There were people who walked past, you know, with watches on, with phone in hand, who wouldn't even make eye contact with me and, um, and acknowledge me enough to even mutter three words to me to tell me the time. And it is quite hard to deal with, especially if this was going to be my life every day.